I just came from the post office and I got chickies. And I got chickies. I'm so excited. But here they are. I'm gonna show you guys. <gasps> Ten little babies. They came perfect. They're chirping. They're all alive. They're so cute and fluffy. We got 10 Cornish crosses. They did a really good job packing them. They're so chirpy. As soon as you walked in the post office, you could hear them chirping. I was talking to the people in the post office. I said, in eight weeks, these are gonna be dinner. And the lady was like, you can't make friends with your food, but I'd rather eat a friend than some crazy processed meat from the store, which we're eating now, but. Look, you see their little feathers coming in on their wings, little white feathers. They're, they'll be white um, once they're, they're a little bit older. So you can see like the little white feathers already coming in. Come on, Chicky. They're so soft and fluffy. I love chicks. We normally raise all of our um, hens ourselves. We get them as baby chicks. I have gotten some pullets that were um, maybe like six weeks old, but we normally do get like the little tiny chicks like this size. These are probably a couple days old. They shipped out. Today's Friday. They shipped them out um, yesterday. They came from Iowa. And we're in Maryland, so they came a long little way just to be our dinner. So we'll see. Hopefully all 10 make it. I know Cornish crosses can have issues just because they grow so rapidly. They're meant for meat production. They're meant to grow really fast. So they can have like leg issues. Um, they can just die. Um, for, you know, who knows why. But we'll see. It's our first time raising meat chicken, so we just wanted to see how it would go. And um, I know they have like Freedom Rangers or Red Rangers. They don't get to like market weight um, for a few weeks more. I think it's more around 12 weeks. And these will be at weight at about eight weeks. So, and they're cheaper because you don't have the extra few weeks at the end where you still have to feed them they're so cutie so it is more cost effective to raise Cornish cross chicks um so we'll see how it goes the only thing is you you're more prone to lose one or so than you are like the freedom rangers they're a lot more active they don't put weight on as fast because they are more active so these guys are a little bit lazy. Lots of people think they're like some kind of like mutation or they're like GMO, they are like modified, but they're really just bred and they just bred them to be fast growing, big breasted. Um, I prefer dark meat, but I know my husband really likes white meat. So they just bred them over time to be like this. Um, it's like with all kind of like heritage breeds, um, even um, the Red Rangers, they were bred to be like that. They are actually a mix, I think, of like the Rhode Island Reds or New Hampshire Reds and something else. Um, they mix them to grow a little bit faster. Ta-da! You wanna hold one? Yeah. Give me your hands. Come here. Come here, Sunny. Mila, here's Mila saying hi. <laughs> Mila is really good. Um, you would think she would try to eat them or something, but she knows that the chickens Ooh, and the guinea pigs cute. are. So um, like our pets and our friends. So she, she actually tries to help protect the chickens outside. Um, she likes the guinea pigs. She doesn't try to eat them. She will eat the wild animals out here. She brings us rabbits all the time. She eats the rabbits, mice, bulls. 
Is she cutie? Yeah, she's a cutie. I think it's a he. I asked for all boys. Another thing about um, meat chickens, if you can, try to get all males um, because they grow faster and they get bigger than females. So all of our egg layers are girls, of course. You know, boys don't lay eggs. And then all of our meat chickens, I did request um, all boys. Some places will let you request either female or male, and then some just do straight run. Um, of course, females and straight run is cheaper for meat, meat birds anyway. Um, so you can, you can, if you want eggs and meat, you can get like the Orpingtons or the Rhode Island Reds or Jersey Giants. You can just get straight run. And then once they hit that um, like four month mark, you can tell which ones are boys and girls. You can cull off all the boys, the roosters, and eat them because they are a good size for me. And then you can just keep the girls for egg production. It does cost you more in the long run because you do have to feed them um, you know, you have the feed cost over about 16 weeks, um, whereas the Cornish crosses will Jeez. will be ready at eight. But that's also a thing if you're just starting out and you do want eggs and meat, you can try one of the heritage breeds that um, that are like um, mixed use or I don't know what you call it, like for meat and egg production. All right, guys, I'm off to Tractor Supply.